Hello people, today we're talking about the Royal Rumble, or as I like to call it, how WWE learned to stop caring and learn to ignore the fans. It's kind of like uh, uh, Dr. Strangelove, only without the doctor or Peter Sellers, so it's not quite as funny. It, it's much more like Dr. Strangelove, only without Peter Sellers, so it's much less funny and therefore much less entertaining. Though it is quite funny still. Um, last year at the Royal Rumble, for those who remember, Daniel Bryan, the people wanted in the Royal Rumble. So, of course, the WWE did their best and did not put w Daniel Bryan in the Royal Rumble. So the fans booed ve vehemently. They booed everyone. They booed Rey Mysterio who proved that he can be a villain because he was finally booed. And then when Batista won, they booed Batista. And they booed Batista so badly that the WWE was first forced to turn Batista heel, though Batista was a face, to pretty much capitalize on the situation. So this year, we go into the Royal Rumble, and the fans want one of three people or four people to win. I'm kind of tired and kind of out of it tonight. They want either Dean Ambrose or Dolph Ziggler or it's like Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler to win. They want those two or Daniel Bryan to win. So Daniel Bryan gets eliminated. Dolph Ziggler gets eliminated. And then Dean Ambrose gets eliminated. So the fans boo. And the fans boo a lot. And the fans boo even more. And so what happens is the fans boo. And once again, it's hilarity because Roman Reigns wins and he gets booed just as badly as Batista got booed the year before. So are they going to be forced to turn one of their top faces heel again? I mean, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, you can't just stick Daniel Bryan in the main event again. I mean, and and turning Roman Reigns heel, I mean, he's he's a good face. But it's hilarious because it, it just proves that WWE isn't listening to fans. And another thing I read earlier this summer was when John Cena got the living crap beat out of him by Brock Lesnar, which I'm sure we all enjoyed. Uh, that was originally supposed to be Daniel Bryan getting the crap beat out of him by Brock Lesnar. Now, I was thinking about that, and I thought, you know what? I think the fans would have rioted. You know, we all kind of enjoyed John Cena getting the crap beat out of him. None of us really cared that John Cena got the shit beat out of him. But <sighs> got the shit beat out of him by Brock Lesnar. That was kind of funny, honestly. But if the same thing would have happened to Daniel Bryan, fans would have been pissed after all he went through I mean the, the people love Daniel Bryan I mean Cena Daniel Bryan is the most over star they have right now followed by Dean Ambrose followed by Dolph Ziggler and yet these are the guys that Vince McMahon reportedly now these reports could be untrue these reports may be untrue I don't know but reportedly, he doesn't like any of these three. He likes Roman Reigns. So, Vince McMahon... I'm sorry, I'm tired. So, Vince McMahon is the one still calling the shots. It just proves that Vince McMahon is so far out of it that he has no idea anymore what the fans want or who they want or how they want them. And that he needs to step aside and let, I hate to say Triple H, because Triple H sucks and is an asshole. But 
he needs to let someone take over the reins and take the company in a new direction because we don't want to see Vince McMahon, you know, go down in flames like he's going to if he's the one booking these things. Uh, now, if it's Triple H booking these things, we kind of all want to see him go down in flames because that's it's hilarity. Just hilarious to see Triple H go down in flames. But yeah, I mean, uh, I think all this is proving with the authority coming back as fast as they did, with them being on the air as long as they are, with the past two Royal Rumbles, with Daniel Bryan originally being booked to have the crap beat out of him by Lesnar. All that is proving is that WWE is so out of touch with what the fans want that if there was any real competition right now, they'd be getting crushed. Luckily, there's not. And luckily, you know, they, they, they there's nothing they can really do to lose the fans because there's no big alternative. But if there was competition, they'd be getting crushed. And there's the kitty.